here we are with call of the night episode 9 and yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode in three two one go Um, okay, I don't know if I would agree with that, right? Um, but I guess it makes sense for her, right? Since she is a high school girl, I guess, based on her outfit. I have the feeling that the red hair girl of the vampires is is uh the most popular one from what it seems like it seems like she has the most influence and basically give uh give the calls and shots right what to do at least when we met her right she was like hey stop now and everyone was listening so i guess she has the most popularity because that's what everything is based on for the vampires But it's interesting if we see Sari this time too. What's her, her name? Sari? Siri? Um, but yeah, if we see her this episode again, then it's like the third episode already. We see her in a row. I think we didn't even saw Akira three episodes in a row. I think we only saw two episodes. Then there was a break of one episode, and then after that, I think we saw her again. I don't know. Everyone wants her. She wants Ko. Oh. And there's Ko again. Mm-hmm. Of course. <laughs> yeah, they don't like each other. That's true. <laughs> she likes them, maybe. Or maybe she wants to suck. Pause. Mm hmm. Oh, what is with another now that she's suddenly like gone? I mean, being popular can be a drag. <laughs> yep. 
I mean, that's basically vampires, right? <laughs> Very interesting that they're, they're like, yeah, if it gets messy, I just kill him. Mad vibes. Can he sing? <laughs> Innocent. <laughs> Okay, did they skip it? <laughs> right? I mean, there are people that love old school music. Who's that? Time is up, kids. Oh, is this one of the boys? God damn, stalker! I guess it's killing time. I guess so, right? Dragos. All right. Dude, why isn't he stopping? This is so weird. <clears throat> Let's see it. <laughs> I kill him. Ice cold. Kinda. Damn, the filter is crazy. He comes in. Yeah, he looks a bit crazy. Oh. 
Oh, 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 he saved him. Oh my god. <laughs> Drago? Dude, the filter is crazy. Friend, maybe, maybe not. Well, you are food or offspring or a dead person. <laughs> Why is he holding his, his neck? Okay, he wants to get information about romantic feelings. I mean, asking other people for advice, right? Or like how they feel might be helpful for him to figure out how he maybe can feel to get like a better idea. idea. Did she say, do you want me, do you want to buy me some water? My girl, ex girlfriend. Now she was looking for offspring chances. Okay. Then why are you so weird and stand in front of the door and just knock the whole time? I mean, I get... Yeah, it's weird, right? <laughs> I mean what I say. Is he calling Nazana? Here we go. 
And another nut. <laughs> God damn the eyes. He was following. <laughs> Oh, she normally doesn't kill? From what it sounds like. Same as Nazana and Co, basically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just embrace it. Famous Nazana and go. It, wait, did he say he fall in love? If that's the case, then she can bite him and make him offspring. Then they can be friends, right? Because they're both vampires.
Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering when that happens. Let's go. Better vision, so he doesn't need the glasses anymore, I guess. Seems that way, right? Maybe not. <laughs> Put him back on. Damn, what an episode. Anything else here? I don't think so. Nope. I feel like this has never any outros. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. Yeah, what I mean with I feel like it never has outros is like after credit scenes. Um but yeah, that was the episode. Um very interesting, right? I mean we saw Sari again, three episodes in a row basically. And Yeah. She is basically like an example that the thing with Nazana and Ko is not like something special like the exception right because even sari that is like popular and hangs around with the other vampires and is like basically in their group right because nazana is basically the exception um she is not really enjoying it right <clears throat> the whole vampire life with um getting all romantic with people and that's all you do basically Find new people, get romantic, let them fall in love with you, and then make them offspring, right? She's not enjoying it really, and now has this guy here. I forgot his name. Um, I just call him. What did they call him? Akun. Um. Yeah, he was basically a human that, and she just liked hanging out with him, right? Not being all romantic and all that stuff. But because he is a human and she doesn't want to get romantic with him, really, <clears throat> um, she decided now, like, yeah, I kill him because if it gets out that she is that she just wants to be friends with him and don't doesn't want to do this whole romantic stuff, then yeah, if it gets out, then he will die anyway, right? So she wants to kill him. Basically, the same what happened to Ko. Almost, but he Ko didn't die, right? He's another exception. And so, yeah, now it turned out that he was in love with her, so he, she could make him, him an offspring, right? And everything is perfect, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, another, like I said, another example that Ko and Nazna are not the exception, right? We see now that Sari. Also had the same stuff that she wants that she just wanted to be friends with a human because she had a good time <clears throat> and all the romantic stuff was boring and felt like a drag. And makes me wonder if that's something maybe that will happen to all of the vampires, maybe at some point. That maybe not in the same way that it happened, you know. But maybe that they get to the point where they are like yeah, maybe we can be friends with with humans and don't have to necess necessarily kill them, right? If we don't do it romantically. Um, so yeah, I think that would be something interesting to see in the future if that's maybe the direction it maybe goes to. N not that it's just about Ko and Nazana falling in love and Ko becoming a vampire, um, but maybe that a side topic of the anime, uh, anime is basically maybe that humans and vampire can live in harmony together right that they don't have that it's not like offspring or kill right so yeah <clears throat>
definitely an interesting episode seeing that side from Steri and all that stuff <clears throat> and definitely an episode I have to rewatch I didn't rewatch it now after I did my reaction um but yeah definitely something I have to rewatch to get like to pay more attention because there was a lot of text and it was somewhat confusing right because suddenly they go to karaoke and then suddenly this this guy pops up and just uh, just like knocks against the door the whole time and the extreme filter <laughs> that we had in the one scene was pretty crazy so yeah definitely like very interesting episode not i i would it's interesting because i wouldn't say this is like the best episode or like a highlight episode for me i mean it's it's a highlight but not in the sense of like man this episode was so amazing um like episode five for example which was like really good i loved episode five but <clears throat> it was a highlight in the sense of um that we saw now that, is, that the focus wasn't on ko and nazana for once but on seri and that we get shown that she's also basically the same as nazana and ko right like i just explained um, in that sense, I think this was definitely a highlight episode um, because we see like other vampires and their trouble and all that stuff and not just Ko and Nazana the whole time and then some side stuff with other characters, right? But yeah, that's episode. Really good episode. I liked it. And so, yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.